Hi everyone, this is Kim with Get Smart Now 2011 and I thought I would bring you in on a little video here. Um, we've been running around all day, grocery store, everything else, and when I got home, there was hardly any room in the freezer, which is a good thing, but I needed to make some more room. So we had some uh, frozen vegetables in the freezer and they were taking up space that I needed. So. I decided to get them out and put them in the dehydrator, uh, which I absolutely love to do. <laughs> it's a fun toy. And um, then I thought, well, I'll bring you along for the ride. So here goes, and sorry about the mess. I've been out in the weather today and the wind and stuff, so <laughs> probably not looking too good. So here we go. I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, so we're back, and um, we're still in my son's playroom. Uh, if you notice the ABCs on the background <laughs> in the first part of this video. Um, so I just have me a little workstation set up in here with my dehydrator because um, I don't like to hear the, the dehydrator running. It seems to just stick out to me when I'm watching TV or whatever and it drives me crazy. Uh, and it's not really all that loud, but um, it still just drives me insane. So I have it set up in here, and it's already on uh, and warming up and everything. This is the best dehydrator in the world. I love this thing. I've had the cheaper dehydrators, and I just would not go back to one if I, unless I just absolutely had no other choice. This Cadillac of all dehydrators is an Excalibur and it's got all kinds of different settings and stuff to let you know what to put things on. I've got I've got this one set at 115 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to put some vegetables in there and uh, I'm just going to let them go for um, all night. So um, I will get back to you in just a second. Okay, so I've taken the top off, I mean the front, off of the dehydrator, and this is what I love about it. Well, some of the things that I love about it. It has these long trays, and it heats straight forward, so it's a great feature. These things come off, and you can just pick them up. Well, usually you have two hands. <laughs> you can just pick them up and dump your stuff right out. They're very easy to wash and it's I just I love it so I'm going to take these trays out and once I get them out and ready to start putting veggies on I will be back okay so I have all the all of the trays up on top here and um, this is going to be hard to do one-handed but I have all my veggies already sitting right here now normally I will put deli gloves on to do this but I've washed my hands right before I came in here so um, you know there's really no need to right now so all we're going to do I have scissors right here ready for me and I even have a little shopping bag here to put the trash in and these are all uh, mixed veggies uh, I like to buy the mixed veggies when I am considering dehydrating them because they just have a little bit of everything in them and so we're just going to take them frozen I'm just going to toss them on the tray nothing hard about that I'm just going to spread them out a little and we're going to stick them in and let this baby do its job If I don't dump them using one hand. You see some kid toys around here. This again is my son's player. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of them. This is a nine tray dehydrator, so I have nine bags. So I'm going to put each on one screen and I'm going to put them in there and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have all of the trays loaded. There's veggies in every one of them. And now all I have to do is get the lid on the front or whatever <laughs> and just put it right on. And then there we go. Tomorrow we'll have 
great, great, wonderful, wonderful vegetables with all the nutrients sealed inside. And when using them, just rehydrate them and you'd think they were just picked. Here is a, a package that I done oh, a few years ago. And you can see that those bags of frozen, um, frozen veggies, it shrinks down to hardly nothing. This is mixed veggies, the same thing I just put in there. There's my oxygen absorber right there. And if you look and see, um, when you do them this way, you dehydrate them, you put an oxygen absorber in them, and you seal them in a good quality bag. Now, don't get those cheap bags from Walmart. They leak, they end up, they have tiny little pores, and if your food is just gonna go bad because of bad bags, then why do it to begin with? Um, these I order online. Um, they're really great. I've never had a single bag mess up on me so far. Knock on wood. So anyways, um, you do them like this, and they're good for 30 years. 30! And you're not having to use your canning jars up, and um, what I do with these is I just get a tote and you would be amazed how many of these you can actually fit in just a small tote. I mean, it's just crazy. Now, I do recycle my shopping bags from the grocery stores. What I do is I'll put so many of these in a tote and then I'll put a bunch of bags over the top of them so that the pointy ends are not actually poking into the next layer of them. But Anyways, um, hope that helps. A little quick tip there. And so, uh, oh, yeah. Um, now, I have what seals these up. I have um, two, actually, machines that do that. I have a seal mill and then I have, um, oh, what is the name of that other one? Oh, I just forgot what the name of the other one was. But anyways, they're, they're, I have two different kinds of them, and they both pretty much work the same. They they do an equal amount of job for you. So, um, one of them was much cheaper than the other. I think it was the Scylla Mill, which came from um, Walmart. <laughs> and so, you know, it's much cheaper than the, than the more expensive brand that I got of the other one, which I cannot think of its name right now. But um, they, they pretty much do the same thing, so save some money there um, if you haven't gotten one already. But anyways, it's just a little quick video to um, show you how to free up some freezer space and not have to use your canning jars or your um, um, pressure canner. Just stick them in the dehydrator, seal them up with an oxygen absorber, and they're good for for 30 years so that's just an unbelievable amount of time and now we do um, grab a pack every now and then uh, if we don't have any in the freezer and we'll just come in and we'll grab one of these and just throw it right in the crock pot or whatever you know on top of the stove you just have to let it rehydrate which only takes a few minutes and then you're good to go so I uh, hope you like the video and like us if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and um, thanks for watching and i hope i helped you out a little bit have a great day